Hello and welcome to Infinity. Uh, in our series on curves, let's have a look at a further critical point, that, and in particular it's the trade-off you have to make in curves with regard to contrast. So if we take this picture of the coastline in Madeira here, let's bring up the curves. Here we go. And if we say want to increase the contrast, the typical thing we'll do is we'll bring up the lights a bit and we'll bring down the the blacks a bit and we've got a kind of you know increased contrast here. Because contrast is uh, found in the curves by the gradient of the curve. On the 45 degrees is the normal one. Anything steeper than that is greater contrast. Anything less than that is lower contrast. I'll just exaggerate this a bit to show what the way that it works here. So this middle section here in the midtones, this has been made steeper. So this is increasing contrast in the midtones. But the price of this is that we've had to flatten the top end of the curve. So the lights up here are less contrast. And down here there is less contrast. We can see that if we move this up and down here as we bring that down, there's less contrast between the blacks. Let's have a look at this in a monotones bar here. So we'll bring up the curves on this. Let's get that so we can see everything as much as we can. I know, let's just move this, this down a bit. There we go, so we can get it there. There we go, we got both on the screen at once. Now then, if I increase the contrast increase the uh, the lightness up at the top here and bring it down here. What we've effectively got here, you can see that at the top end here, there's very little difference between these. There's very little contrast across the, the lights here and there's very little contrast across the darks. However, what we've achieved here is, is greater contrast across the midtones. If we reset that, you can see the midtones lose contrast, the step, the change between them, but, but the lights and the darks gain it. So wherever you go, you're going to increase contrast somewhere. Here you are, this is increasing the contrast across the lights, but we're losing contrast amongst the blacks. It's like if you were running a race, but you had to get to the from A to B, but you had to get to the end play point at the same time, whichever way you go. So you could go faster at the beginning and then you'd have to slow down a bit at the end. Or you could go up and down or you could go slow at the beginning and then race to get to the end in time. So what can we do about this? A way to ad address this is to use two curves. And uh, we'll do it in this one with this. Let's reset this for now. And we'll do it by, we'll take this one off altogether, in fact, I'll delete that layer. Oops. Just that one. That's better. We'll use the select brush here and we're going to chop this picture in half. So we'll make sure we're on add and snap to edges. And we'll just click on the land here and we'll go out. And the question here is where do we put the boundary for this? Um, should we include that one? Let's just try including that. How about that area there? We'll keep it away from there. So we've got a bit of the C here and we'll subtract by holding Alt and painting back the sky across here. Then we'll hit Refine and the reason to use Refine is Refine will soften the edges of things and we can particularly we can paint across things here to force it to rethink it and when it rethinks it it often substance it which will blur a bit between the top and the bottom and we'll see why in a moment okay so we'll apply that we're only doing roughly but that's good enough so now what we're going to do is we're going to add curves if i add an adjustment here curves now this is selected here just for the land. So let's just rename this. There's the rename. Oh, we just need to get this one, don't we? 
that's it. There we go. We'll call this one land. And then what we'll do is we will invert the selection. So we'll select and invert pixel selection. So now selecting the sky. So now if we put a curves area in here, this is going to be the sky. There we go. Right. So now we can adjust them independently. So if you want to make the sky more contrasty, we want to make it steeper up towards the lights here. So we'll drag this down. And there we are, there's the sky getting steeper. Uh, the, the up here is steeper and the more contrast in the sky. So if we go back to the land one, oops, let's bring that back up, there we go. Now to increase the land, which is darker, we'll increase a bit there. Um, we don't need the selection anymore because we got it in the mass we created when we did the curves. The problem we can see here is the, the boundary between the two looks rather unrealistic, doesn't it? It's kind of okay up here, but down here, because it's kind of shading from one to the other. And uh, the way we can address this is by using the masks and painting on these. So if I, I've got the land mask selected here, and with this, if I alt click this, you can see here, there's the effect of the, the refine. Is if I want to paint, if I paint black on here, it'll take it out of the land. So let's go back up here, just select the land, select a paintbrush. There we go, make it all short, go to black. Um, what opacity have I got here? 50%. Let's turn it down a little bit here. It's okay. So if I paint now on here, now I can make those things which are a bit unnatural uh, go fade a bit more out uh, and I can switch over to the sky and do the reverse so I have a paint in white over there that will bring it more in there we go so literally you can try both of those there yeah, and that's see the way that's getting dark because so I'm taking that out of the sky and letting that go back into land okay so there we go We've uh, seen that when you have a single curve, then when you increase contrast in one area, you lose it in another. And you can get over that by chopping the picture up into pieces and applying contrast separately, but then making sure that the boundary between the two still looks realistic. There we go. Thank you very much for watching.